One of the biggest lies that they've been telling you about retirement is that you're gonna be bored in retirement. I think they've drilled this into a lot of people's minds through what the media talks about, through the way they portray what retirement looks like, the old guy sitting in the rocking chair just enjoying the day. And you know, they need you to work. The machine wants people to work as long as possible. So they do not make retirement look sexy at all. But there is a sexy side of retirement. The problem is what most people see have seen in retirement is what they saw their parents do in retirement. What did, what did you see your parents do? They retired, they reduced their spending as low as they could because they always worried about money. So they just, they didn't do a lot. They didn't travel very much. They worried about money. They read the newspaper and they complained about inflation, even when inflation was at 2%. So, you know, what we've seen our parents do, that's not what we want to do in retirement anymore. So I am here, my friends, to show you what a sexy early retirement could look like. Shut up and sit down. One of the things that most people think about retirement is that either you're retired over here in this box or you're working over here in this box and that there's nothing in between. And that's not the case anymore. A lot of people retire and have side projects and do passion projects or start a business. And just because you're uh, doing something, earning some money, doesn't mean you're not really retired. And this is my first mind blowing concept for this video. Just in case we haven't met, my name is Jeff. This is the Retirement Mentality. This is a place where I wanna change your mentality about retirement. I wanna change it so bad I invented the word retirement mentality just so I could try to work on doing that here on this channel. We talk about retiring early, investing in real estate, and just like, I talk about a lot of ideas just to kinda of try to get your mind going and, and think about how you're gonna retire and how that retirement is gonna look. So hopefully if that's interesting to you, you're in the right place, my friends, consider subscribing and sticking around. Okay, so we're talking about either being retired or not being retired. And one of the comments I get from the haters the most on the channel is, you're not retired, you have rental properties and they require work. You're not retired, you have a YouTube channel, so you are still working. You're not retired, you sold three houses in real estate in the last year. You blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's true, I do have rental properties. I'm standing here in one of my houses in Puerto Rico right now, this is called the Koki Cabana, named after the uh, Puerto Rican Koki frog. So yes, I do still have to do work on my rental properties. Yes, I do have this YouTube channel, which uh, requires work and pays me almost zero income. Yes, I do still sell a few houses a year, so I do still do some things, but do I have to work? No, my friends, I do not have to work. I do all these things because they're fun. I do enjoy making a little bit of money on the side. Uh, if I turned off all these things, would my retirement fall apart because I didn't have enough money? No, I would be perfectly fine. If there was a better word for retirement, I would use it. Oh yeah, I do use it all the time. It's called recreational employment. I made a t-shirt up because the phrase didn't even exist, but I do, I've been there, I've done that, I have the t-shirt. So uh, I like to call this recreational employment because it's not work that I have to do, it's work that I like to do. And this is what a lot of people do in retirement, especially if you're gonna retire at a younger age. Like I kind of started my retirement at 45 when I moved down to the Virgin Islands and was living uh, in St. Thomas. But I learned real quick that I needed something to do, and that's how this YouTube was. Ch this YouTube channel was born, and my other YouTube channel called How to Beach was also born. If you haven't ever seen my other YouTube channel, go check it out. It's all about things about the beach. I just posted a video of us fishing the other day, do beach gear reviews. It's fun over there. Okay, so it's not surprising that people are scared to retire. You know, they want you to just go to work and work for 40, 45 years. And of course, people's identity gets wrapped up in that. People's whole, like who they think of themselves is what their job is. And, you know, they tell you like, when you re if you're gonna retire early, you're, you're gonna get depressed, you're gonna lose your identity, you're gonna die early because you don't have anything to do and you're not contributing to society. And these are all the things that the machine wants you to think so that they just keep you working. Social Security Administration is gonna make it so you don't get paid your Social Security until 67 years old now. There's just all these things telling you like you can't get Medicare until you're 65. So there's all these things telling you like you need to keep working until you're in your 60s or almost into your 70s now. But guess what, man? It's all BS. You, you, you've already contributed. You could have contributed more than most people in 10 years of owning a business and creating an employment and creating jobs. I've done that. I've owned businesses. I had a mortgage company. I created multiple jobs. I have rental properties now. I create housing for people. I create affordable housing for people. I have long-term rentals um, that are priced that I've had renters in there for almost 10 years that barely have had to see the rent increase. 
So I have contributed to this idea. If I want to duck out of working prior to 67 years old and getting my social security, trust me, my friends, I've contributed to society. In fact, yesterday I was in the Walmart here in Puerto Rico. It doesn't matter where I was, but there's a guy in front of me dressed nicely, had on a, let's also, you can see I'm getting a little sweaty. I was trying to get this video done before it got too hot. Uh, but there was a guy in line in front of me in the Walmart yesterday. He had on a nice white linen button up shirt, nice jeans, uh, nice shoes. He was wearing his shades, looked like a pretty cool dude. He had a Louis Vuitton uh, purse, man purse, satchel over his shoulder. And when it came time to pay, he reached into that Louis Vuitton satchel and he pulled out his WIC card, trying to pay for his groceries with his food stamps. And then he didn't have enough money. And then he had to give the Vaseline back to the lady. And then he was still short. And then he reached back into that Louis Vuitton bag and he pulled out $4 and he gave it to her. And she's like, no, you owe me $4.57. And he reached back into that Louis Vuitton bag and he fumbled around trying to find 57 cents. If I would have had any cash on me, I'd have just gave it to him because this was dragging on forever. The line was getting bigger. Um, he eventually worked it out. But trust me, I've never... I've contributed probably more to society than this guy with his uh, food stamps and couldn't afford his groceries. Now you can put your hate in the comments down there. I don't care. I went broke. I never took anything from the government and I've always made it on my own. So I've contributed to society and I've contributed to society and done enough that if I want to retire early, I don't think I need to feel bad that I'm not contributing. That's my point here. I digress. So the point of the video here is that, you know, the retirement that they try to sell you is not, and the retirement that you saw your parents do is not the retirement that most of us want today. So if you're one of those people who say things like, well, I love my job, I don't want to retire, or you say things like, I'm going to get bored in retirement, then listen up because this part's for you. I have an exercise for us to try here today. So what I want you to do is I want you, to, let's model out what one year of not working would look like. Let's not even call it retirement. Let's not put a label on it. Let's, let's not call it anything yet. We'll just kind of be free with it. So let's just model out, like imagine what your perfect year would look like of not working. What would you want to do? Would you want to rent an RV and go see all the national parks in the US? Would you want to go live on a vineyard in the south of France for a year? Maybe you want to play every PGA golf course that there is around the world. Um, something I think would be fun to do is go to every like party or festival in the world and the place where it's supposed to be at like um, Oktoberfest in Munich and run with the bulls in Pamp Pamplona or go to Mardi Gras in New Orleans or go to the UFO festival in Roswell. You know, whatever. You, I think you get the idea. So whatever you think the perfect year would be, write it all down, plan it out, plan out. If you want to do three months of travel here and three months here and three months seeing kids or visiting somebody over here, write it all down, plan out a year, and then uh, put it on an actual piece of paper. And money's no object here. Now go crazy with this and do whatever you think would be the most fun thing you could do. Like, don't worry about how much it's gonna cost and write it all down. I'll, I'll wait. Okay, you got it? Okay. Now, let's figure out what that's gonna cost. Let's do a little bit of research. Like. Go find plane tickets, find an Airbnb or a hotel or buy the, find out how much it costs to play the golf course or rent the RV, like call the RV company and find out how much it costs to rent it for a year or how much it costs to buy one. And let's figure out how much this actually costs. Now, we've modeled out the year. We know how much it's gonna cost. Now this is the part, this, this right here, this, this is the second thing that could just blow your mind. One of two things is gonna happen here. It's either going to be way cheaper than you thought or it's going to be way more expensive than you thought. I told you. It's crazy. So now we need a flow chart. It was cheaper than I thought over here. Okay. So what do you do now? Well, congratulations. It's cheaper than you thought to retire. You can afford it. Just go live the perfect year and then repeat that year after year. And now you're retired and you don't have to work. You're welcome. Now, for those of you who it was way more expensive than you thought, go back to the flow chart here. We're gonna go this way now. So, well, there's the, it's not over. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. You know, maybe you can only pay, play three PGA golf courses a year in your retirement. Maybe you can only rent an RV for two months. Maybe you need to buy a smaller RV. Maybe you um, can only do three festivals per year. Maybe you need to postpone retiring for two more years to get a little bit more money in the coffer. But you know what this exercise did? Maybe it taught you that you can't retire yet. That's bad, 
but that's but but you still learn something good from this exercise you you learned like maybe what you want your retirement to look like and possibly you learned how much it could cost to be retired and that's the main thing that i like to talk about on this channel is you know people like to think of retirement in terms of a big round number that they need to save up this much money or invest this much money but they don't know what they want their retirement to look like and they don't know how much it costs and that's what i talk about on this channel all the time once you figure out what you want your retirement to look like you can figure out how much it costs and then you know how much money you actually need to pay for it so i hope maybe thinking of things in this little bit different manner can uh change your mentality a little bit about retirement and if it did i hope you'll give me a big thumbs up down there and consider subscribing to the channel because i do some of these exercises and thought processes to help you get towards that early retirement a little bit better a little bit faster and feeling a little bit more prepared and if you like this video go watch this video over here which talks about some retirement mistakes that you don't want to make so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video